Hey church family, I wanted to take this opportunity to present you with another word of encouragement as we continue to pray for the end of this pandemic. Now, as we continue to consider the recent spike in coronavirus cases, many are once again filled with fear. And before we begin to think that, you know, we're, we're beginning to see this second wave of the coronavirus that they've been promising, it's really important for us to understand that this increase of infections, well, it was inevitable. You might not know this, but prolonged periods of lockdown tend to weaken an individual's immune system. Therefore, it only stands to reason that you know, those who are beginning to emerge from our recent lockdown, uh, as we return to society, we're returning with weakened immune systems that are more susceptible to viruses like the coronavirus. At the same time, we can also rejoice in the fact that while the infection rate is in fact rising, the fatality rate is continuing to decrease. One reason why? Well, it's because those who are being infected are mainly young adults under the age of 29, and therefore they're relatively healthy and able to uh, overcome this virus. Now, according to one report, the primary source of many of these infections, uh, it's occurring at parties and protests and bars and, and these sorts of situations where young people are gathering together and, and coming out of lockdown, they have weakened immunities. Uh, and as they gather in mass, the, the virus is spreading around. Uh, and, and before you think that this is yet, yet another cause for going back into lockdown, I would just remind you that the infection rate is rising while the fatality rate is dropping. And it's the fatality rate that we're really concerned about. Therefore, these new infections, please understand, they're actually helping our nation uh, to uh, achieve herd immunity, which is so important. It's for this reason that I encourage those who are young, those who are healthy, let's emerge from this lockdown so that we can begin to achieve the herd immunity, you know, which will help us as a nation to crush the coronavirus. One of the best ways for us to begin to rebuilding our individual immune systems, which have been weakened through lockdown, uh, one of the best ways to do this is by returning to our fellowship of faith. With that being the case, I encourage those who are young and those who are healthy. Let's gather together at our, at our fellowship of faith. And, and so I invite you to join us this Sunday for a time of worship and a time of Bible study. We're going to consider this Sunday what Jesus meant uh, when he declared that he is the Lord of the Sabbath. Our service times are at 9.15 and 11.15 a.m. And so with that, I encourage you, wash your hands, put on your favorite Sunday Go to Church mask, and join us here at Calvary South Austin so that we can return uh, to the corporate worship service that the Lord has called us to be a part of. Now, if you belong to a high-risk category and you have concerns about being together with others, uh, then you might like to know that we have a high-risk room which is dedicated just for you. Uh, you can sit with others uh, who are also high-risk in a room where, where you can see the service and worship along with your church. But if, you, if, if you're still uncomfortable with this, if you still feel the need to shelter in place, then I encourage you, tune in live for our live stream, which begins at 11.15 a.m. this Sunday, right here at calvarysouthaustin.com. I hope to see you soon, but until then, let's continue fighting the good fight of faith, all for the glory of God.